guys so I said I was gonna do a video on how to cycle a tank but I feel like it's really important for you guys to know why you need to cycle a tank so here is a really quick biology lesson on the nitrogen cycle the nitrogen cycle is a naturally occurring biological process that means that it's gonna happen whether you like it or not and as the name implies it deals with the conversion of the element nitrogen into different chemical compounds mainly ammonia nitrite and nitrate when leftover food, poop, plant matter, or dead bodies start to decompose in your tank, ammonia is released into the water column. Ammonia is highly toxic, but luckily, there are beneficial bacteria called nitrosomonas that live on every surface of your tank and can metabolize this ammonia into something else called nitrite. Unfortunately, nitrite is also highly toxic, but another type of bacteria called nitrobacter can metabolize this into nitrate, which is less toxic than both ammonia and nitrite. What's nice about nitrates is that it can be used by plants or removed with water changes. Aquatic life can handle small amounts of nitrate in the water column, so it's important that you have a large enough bacterial colony to quickly convert ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. These bacterial colonies start off very small because you initially have no waste and therefore no ammonia in the tank for them to metabolize. So they grow and multiply very slowly. That means that excess waste will create an abundance of ammonia and nitrite that can poison your shrimp or fish while these bacterial colonies establish themselves in your tank. So what is cycling exactly? Cycling is basically the process of introducing a colony of nitrifying bacteria into your tank so that it can handle um, converting the waste that your shrimp or fish put out and be able to convert it quickly from ammonia to nitrite to nitrate so that the more toxic ammonia and nitrite aren't in the system long enough to do any real harm to your shrimp or fish. So the method that I'm showing you guys today is just my way of cycling a tank. There are many, many ways to do it as long as you get the same end result, which is a large colony of nitrifying bacteria to handle your waste, then you're good. But today I'm going to show you guys how to use Dr. Tim's products to cycle a tank. And I really like Dr. Tim's products because I've been able to cycle the last three tanks um, within one and a half to two weeks, which is amazing compared to the normal four weeks that it takes to cycle a tank. One thing that I cannot stress enough is even though it takes me about two weeks to cycle a tank using this method, if it takes your tank longer than two weeks, do not rush it. Do not try to put live animals in there before your tank is fully cycled. If you do that, you will kill whatever you're putting in there. So don't do that. Just be patient and wait it out and you will have very, very happy shrimp or fish in the end. So in order to cycle your tank, you're gonna need to introduce a source of nitrifying bacteria. And I'm using Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. And you're also gonna need to give them some food to eat. Otherwise, they're not gonna be able to multiply. So the food that I'm giving them is Dr. Tim's ammonium chloride solution which is super simple to use. You just add the drops in and pretty much you're done. But you're also going to need a test kit and I use the API test kit. You can use whatever test kit you have or you want to use as long as it measures ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So after you finish setting up your tank, the first thing you want to do is introduce your nitrifying bacteria. So the directions say to shake well before using, you're gonna to wanna to do that. Um, but it also says to use two capfuls per every 10 gallons. I actually double dose my tanks though, so I use four capfuls for every 10 gallons because I've noticed that it cycles a lot faster when I add more bacteria. And it makes sense because if you add more bacteria initially, then you're allowing more bacteria to establish themselves in your tank at a faster rate than if you were to do the regular dosage. And you're gonna continue adding the same amount of bacteria every single day until your tank is fully cycled. So after you add your nitrifying bacteria, you're gonna want to add the ammonium chloride solution and this requires you to add one drop per gallon of water to get two parts per million ammonia. 
The website recommends you going up to three parts per million. If you want to do that, that's fine. You can actually go up to four parts per million ammonia. That would just build you a larger colony. And um, in order to do that, you would just double the dosage. So it's two drops for every gallon of water and for a 10 gallon tank, that would equal 20 drops. If you test your water on the first day, you are gonna get a rating of about four parts per million ammonia. And that's okay because that's gonna go away eventually. The range you want to stay within is three to five parts per million. So you don't want to go too much under that or too much over that because you're gonna have issues with your cycle. So stay between three to five. After a couple days, you'll notice that the ammonia is slowly being converted into nitrites. So you'll notice a decrease in ammonia and an increase in nitrites as the bacteria metabolize the ammonia. Then after a couple more days, you'll notice decreases in ammonia and decreases in nitrite as nitrates are produced. So what's happening in the tank during the cycle is that there's bacteria that's metabolizing the ammonia and converting it to nitrites, and then there's another set of bacteria that converts the nitrites into nitrates. And now the wait begins. You're gonna want to test your water every two days until your ammonia and your nitrite levels hit 0.5 parts per million. Once it gets there or less than that, you're gonna add more ammonia until it gets back up to four parts per million. And then you'll measure the water every day. Once your ammonia and nitrite levels get down to 0.25 parts per million each or less, you're gonna add more ammonia until it gets to four parts per million. And you're gonna maintain it at that level every day until your tank can complete the entire cycle within 24 hours. That means that your ammonia goes from four parts per million to zero within 24 hours. Your nitrites are reading zero after 24 hours and you have a ton of nitrates. So at the end of a completed cycle, your ammonia should be zero, your nitrates should be zero, and your nitrates will be off the roof. It's gonna be like down here. Once your tank is able to complete a nitrogen cycle within 24 hours, you're gonna to wanna to do a 100% water change. And that's because the nitrates don't have anywhere to go unless they're removed. So you can remove them with plants, but it takes a while for plants to go through a lot of nitrates, so the fastest way to remove them is through a water change. And that's why people do weekly water changes or monthly water changes is to remove the nitrates in the water. And um, the ideal parameters that you want your nitrates to be within would be zero to 20 parts per million. Anything over that, you risk poisoning your shrimp or your fish. So keep it within 20 parts per million. Once you do 100% water change, it should ideally be zero parts per million. But if it's a little bit over that, then that's fine as long as it doesn't go over one, two. So that is how I cycle my tanks. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. And as always, if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.